Doria spills Meghan forces Harry not to sing God Save the King on the coronation, Sussex's fight. Today a source on Blind Item leaked that Meghan is encouraging Prince Harry to skip the coronation. The source said that apparently the Duchess of Sussex is pushing for her husband to just bail on the whole event at the last minute. That would certainly get them lots of extra attention. The information is said to come from Doria, Meghan's mother. Moreover, for the first time in history, millions across the UK will be asked to make their promise to King Charles III. However, rumour has it that Meghan banned Harry from singing God Save the Queen. Harold won't swear allegiance and he won't say or sing God Save the King. He didn't do it at the Queen's funeral and he won't do it on Saturday. Meghan warned him that he should return to the US soon to join Archie's birthday celebration. Harry's fighting in his mind and there's also an argument with Meghan. If Harry allows himself to be coerced by his equally vile wife, he can kiss the family in the only life he's ever known goodbye forever. Even the royal family's lawyers will be like, who are you? If he tries to correspond with them again. Supposedly, he's travelling to the coronation with his therapist in tow, delicate flower that he is. Anyway, Meghan wasn't invited to the coronation ceremony, but she ordered an ivory gown in advance. Wasting money but not being able to attend, she was bitter and forced her husband to leave his father's event early. Indeed, as Samantha said, the relationship between Meghan and Harry is very toxic. Samantha Markle said she noticed something was missing in Meghan Markle's eyes when she married Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex's estranged half-sister said the couple's relationship didn't seem real to me, as she discussed watching the royal pair get married on TV. Samantha, her brother Thomas Markle Jr. and father Thomas Markle Sr. didn't attend the ceremony in 2018. Meghan only had a mother, Doria Ragland, representing her family at the nuptials. In a Channel 7 Spotlight interview, Samantha said, When I watched the royal wedding, I was watching her and watching Harry, and there was something, in my opinion, missing in their eyes. It didn't seem real. She went on to suggest Harry and Meghan share a toxic relationship and that the pair are really unhealthy for each other. Samantha alleged the pair have been enabling each other's negative traits over the years. Asked whether the relationship had improved, Meghan's conduct, she said, I think it's made it worse because I think he has the personality profile that perfectly enables someone who's an alleged narcissist. Whether it's PTSD or his seeming neediness over his mother, his history of being somewhat rebellious in his own life as the younger child in his own family, competing with his brother William and never being happy. He has a similar personality in not only the rebellion, relying on substances to avoid accountability and real growth and responsibility. Samantha added, I think he's enabled her, I don't think they're improving each other's lives. 